Hi, this is Jason with the Metal Roofing Channel. Today we're gonna to go over the installation of the P1 pipe penetration detail. Okay, so here we are at our mock-up. As you can see, uh, we've, we've dried in the roof, we've installed the underlayment per the manufacturer's installation instructions. Uh, we've installed our eave flashing, we've stripped in our eave, and we started paneling across the roof and now we've, we've come to a pipe penetration. Ideally, pre-planning your, your panel layout can go a long way if you only have one, one or two pipes on the roof. Uh, if you can measure over from your starting position uh, to that first pipe, try and center that pipe in the center of the panel. If it comes within an inch of a panel rib, then you're getting uh, the boot that is, uh, then you're getting into the large penetration detail. We've come to this panel, so the next item to do is to, to cut a hole in the substrate. You figure out what type, of, what size deck tight you're gonna need for this pipe, as small as possible, nothing too large. Um, you set that on there, kind of mark it out. The, the deck tights do have uh, your pipe sizing dimensions on the side there, and you cut that appropriately. You can see it should be snug. Uh, so you don't want to cut that too large. So we've cut the pipe dimension and we've slide, we slide this down and we get our deck tight location on the substrate. Take that off. Now the substrate should be cut around the pipe to allow for the thermal movement. So today we're just gonna represent the substrate being cut with a, with, a, with a little display there. So imagine that the substrate has been cut. Now we measure with our panel. We measure our panel out from the eave. We're gonna measure up, center a panel from your eave and center, or center a pipe from the eave and center a pipe from your last panel rib. Once you have those dimensions, you can mark out your panel and cut the hole in your panel. Panel hole will be cut approximately one inch larger, one inch per side, larger than your pipe penetration. Once again with our panels boxed, uh, hemmed, the panel has been allowed, uh, there is a space here to allow for the thermal movement. We've also boxed in the top of our panel in our head wall condition. Same thing with this panel. We're gonna set that in place. Lock that in. Engage your D style. Pull it down to allow for your thermal movement. Typically hit that with a set screw. Install your clips. Okay, panel's installed. Uh, go ahead and tab your end cap as well. Trim that off. Okay, now we're ready to, to put on the actual deck tight. Uh, the deck tight is set in 3 16 by 7 8 inch butyl tape. Once again, you want, you want that to be fairly snug. Don't cut it too large. Ride that down right over, over the pipe. Get it nice and flat. Make sure that flange is sitting nice and flat. And now we're gonna attach with our self-sealing fasteners at two inches on center. So these are 10 by one. Number 10 by one, uh, self-sealing fasteners, meaning they have the neoprene washer on them. Uh, you wanna make sure not to over compress that washer and attach it two inches on center. Now that we have attachment, uh, to the deck, to the panel itself. Um, now it's time to complete the top. Uh, stainless steel pipe clamp, fit that right over. Make sure you're over the deck tight itself. And we wanna get nice compression 
to the pipe. Okay, we get that nice and snug, cut that off, cut off any excess if you'd like. And then we come in with a bead of sealant ab above the top of the hose clamp, pipe clamp. And we tool that in, you tool that in with your finger. Make sure you work, work that in, make sure we got, got that sealed off. Nice, clean seal. This completes the P1 pipe penetration detail. For this detail or any of our other installation details, please go to SheffieldMetals.com and check out our installation manual. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.